Alright, let's dig up our hopes and dreams. I don't have it. Maybe? Sure! Yay! Run! Thanks? Something yellow had fallen out. Oh, there's the beak! Oh... What? Are you gonna do this all the time now? <laughs> is that how it is? Oh! Okay... Well, now we can complete the teddy bear. That's good. I thought we had to dig up the grave and then maybe... Well, this works just fine. That's okay as well. I take what I can get. And just go with it. Let's see. What? A key made of metal. An iron key. You make me really uncomfortable. So, what for though? In a shape. Oh no, I had a door that had that sign on it. I don't know what what that sign says, but I know I had a door that had it. But where? Oh yes, here. This one. Yes, but I want to save first. I haven't done that in a while. What is this? That noise sure is comforting. Um, I guess I have to rise lower the water level. There we go. That noise is not cool. Why doesn't he understand that I would not become a bird, even if he plucked my arms and legs to install wings in their places? What? Yo! You again? Why are you still here? His voice sounded so tired. His gaze flicked away as soon as he looked in this direction, as if there was nothing in his line of vision. His bloodshot eyes stared blankly into a thin air in front of him, as Elizabeth had dodged to the side just prior to being bumped into. He suddenly looked over. Right, have you seen a young lady nearby? About this hide? He drew a line with the side of his palm. She was kidnapped here. She's such a good girl that she would have never run off by herself, so she must have been kidnapped here. Have you seen her? No? Alright, then stay here and don't wander off. Goodbye. All right, a dead bird. No more than missing a single wing and leg. It went to heaven, huh? They traveled to heaven and finally caught a blue jay, but the blue jay turned red on the way home. So, what? So we went full circle now. What? Well, I guess it's time to head back then. Maybe something happened in the piglet room now that I found them. Let's see. What? What? Yo! Music again. Oh, uh, a frog and uh, people. This is what? So they shunned her. No, what?
Why am I looping? I don't wanna loop, please. Ah! Oh. oh, another blue feather fell onto the floor. Once again, huh? Margaret, listen to me carefully. Whatever must come, comes at the appointed time. You are now set on an evil course. Your white hands will work no more. In order to lead a life of pleasure, you will relinquish every duty and every virtue. Go, shame now crushes you. Remorse dogs your footsteps, but the hour will strike at last. Die, and if God forgives you, may you be cursed in this world. Okay. Oh, wait, that's this. Oh, wait. I remember. I remember now who this Margaret person is. In, in Faust. Oh my god, okay. There seem to be noises outside. Hold on. We'll check that out in a second. So, who's there? Isn't the red bird at home beautiful as well? Someone asked. Sure is. Enough is enough. Go back with me. We can't change the past. No one will know as long as it's handled pers pr properly. Everything will be fine if we end it early. How can I make you listen to me? You are lied to. Everyone knows what he's looking at. Wake up and see the truth. He's... What are you looking at? She felt as though she'd been rudely awakened from a daydream. Elizabeth's tight grip loosened as she, as she started. Huh? Startled, I guess. A vase that had already flowered. She could no longer remember when she started carrying it. Oh, what a pity. She was so happy. The demon's indifferent voice sounded from behind her shoulder. Let's go down for a look instead and... Uh, instead of watching the action from up here. The sounds of all the others arguing, bird's song, and the demon's laugh all vanished as she turned her back. It was as if she was the only being to ever exist in this world. Broken and gone. Broken and should go downstairs and check it out. Okay, sure. Oh, I guess here we are, huh? Ah! Is he dead? Small raindrops splattered on the ground. Elizabeth's footsteps were as light as the rain, but they were still enough to make the young man's eyes flutter open. Damn it, why am I still here? He started fixedly into the distance with bloodshot eyes, a dark flush slowly suffusing his wan pallor. Huh? Thank goodness he's not. Elizabeth thought something was amiss just as she was about to heave a sigh of relief. She was debating whether or not to speak up when he abruptly looked at her. Huh? Who are you? This isn't a place for children. Eyes rimmed with sleeplessness stared at her. Although his starched uniform was damp from the rain, he merely brushed his, at his trousers absent mildly and st suddenly stood up. Damn it, where is she? Oh my head, I remember. Uh, yes. Oh my god. She 
backed far away as the young man clambered up. He wasn't looking at her, despite his clouded eyes looking in her direction. He faced her direction in the distance as he stood up. Sorry, I'm in a rush. Hurry back home, all right? The conversation ended where there without further development. With heavy footsteps, he slowly walked off into the rainy mist and was gradually obscured by the gloomy color vanishing into that far-off distance. Okay. A golden glint was lost in the shrubbery. A coin! Elevator stuck around for quite a while as shards of the balcony railing were mixed in with the dirt and stones. A shadow descended upon her. But I wanted to read that note. What is it? What are you looking for? Even the sound of the voice was enough to make her automatically shy away. She didn't want to repeat herself, so she threw whatever she picked up far, far away. The demon wrinkled its brow, but didn't, but not for the expected reason. So dirty, it withdrew a little out of distaste. Elizabeth didn't understand, and it took her a while to realize that her hands were covered in dirt. She absentmindedly patted her hands, but only succeeded in getting her sleeves and dress dirty. Sigh, honestly. Here, take this. Something fell out of the demon's sleeve as it raised its hand over its head. A key. The metallic piece landed solidly in Ezra's hand. What's this? The key to the bathroom. It's the first door to the left on the third floor. What third floor? The demon floated into the rain before Elizabeth obtained an answer. Oh yes, what third floor? That's not the blue bird, they continued to insist. They continued on their journey. The blue bird, the end. Uh, there is no third floor, and I remember I have to check on the pink carpet on the third floor. That I remember. Let's go search the third floor. Okay, I guess it's done now. Oh, come on. Guess no more going, but where's my cat? Best thing in this game is cat that scares of the mice. What third floor? What bathroom? Uh, a fox made from clay. A cicada made from clay. Oh, oh really? Uh huh. <laughs> this third floor? Oh god, cat is back. What? Chapter 3 The Adventure of Pinocchio Okay, Pinocchio, huh? Personally, I never liked Pinocchio. Hide restriction was written with paint. It was locked. Scholar. Key to the display room. Matches. Opening hours four. Four sixteen full full. Overcast day. Matches. Matches. More matches. And chocolate. Display room. We can go into the display room now. And we need the clock once more, and we need... The cat has no reflection. You see that? The cat has no reflection. It's a ghost. It's a vampire cat. Map drawn cray and the cat meowed. Okay. Infirmary, bathroom, Sibber's room. Can we draw on it? Sure. Oh, now we have a door in the infirmary, huh? That's fun. Goodness. Matches. Oh, me no likey. Oh, me no like at all. Pinocchio, huh? Well, I need the bathroom. It seemed to be still it seemed to still be functioning, but there was no light bulb inside. Lamp. 
I think I missed the bathroom. I need to check the map again. I was just too focused on clicking on everything. Let's see. The bathroom is next to the infirmary. Can I still crayon something on it? No. Is this the bathroom key? Uh, bathroom? Wow. How nice of you. Pinocchio. Once upon a time there was a lonely carpenter. He received a piece of talking wood and thus made a pair of lifelike dolls from it. They were so cute that even the fairy loved them. So she promised as long as Pinocchio obediently went to school, she would be its mother. And it would become a real boy. Okay. Uh. Okay. Am I not supposed to, uh. Am I not supposed to take a bath? Going to change? Probably not, but it looks way more cute. Okay, let's go to this playroom. Okay, here we go, finally. Oh shit. Oh look, a butt. Lovers. Gnosian. There were keyholes above the two palms. Oh, 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 finally. Watch him flex. <laughs> there were cars on the pedestal. What? Where? And? Person to star. Another end. And this. And that. And this. And that. And this. Ah, uh, sure. Of course. Childbirth. Elizabeth. <laughs> There's a hat. Take it. Sure. Why not? Which hat? Which is hat? Can I, can, can I take it on? Can I wear that? Yes. Ha! Ah, look at us. Venus. Huh? <laughs> okay. Alright. I don't know what it helps, but... Um, it must have a purpose. Oh, okay, I, I, I got it. And the cat started clawing the carpet as soon as it came in. Star-shaped toy. Lift the back covers. No. Large amounts of stuffed dolls. A light bulb. Alright, I guess let's lift. It was a slightly open eye on top of the keyhole. Okay. What the? A pair of scissors was stabbed into the stuffed bear. Okay. All of the stars, chairs, and rabbits in this room. What? Uh, uh. Kept me out of something that was on Elizabeth. Uh, okay. Um. Six, two, eight. God damn it, cat. I couldn't read it. Six, two, eight, zero. It's either six two eight zero or well with a cocked hat to look at it. So it's zero eight two nine. Zero eight two nine. Uh, what does it tell me? 
What does it tell me though? And where did this face go? I don't have anything that could help me. Um. Oh. Little one, shine your ringing light. Zero, eight, two, nine. Clock hand. Oh no, not again. Not again. Wait, 412. So I need the smaller. I mean the, yeah, the big small for the win minutes. Uh, 4, 4.12 it was, right? Now's the question, is it, oh, 4.16. Um, I guess it's 1 and 4, but, um, 1 and 4, is that part of past, quarter past, um, Quarter past one. Mark all coins will grow if you bury one underneath the tree. Don't listen to lies. An empty box. An oddly shaped one doll. Teddy. What? It was full of rusted nails. The worst has happened. Her body's condition has never been the best, even with her improved mental health, so I've been prepared for a miscarriage. I thought Mr. Valentine's visit would shock her at most. Who would have known that such a thing would happen after they thought? Fought. Although we'll never see him again. There's nothing particularly wrong with Marguerite's body. She'll be able to recover after a proper amount of rest and recovery. But her judgment is not optimistic. She thinks that she only slept for a bit and anxiously asks me, Where's the child? This is such a grand house, he's such a good man, and she would have been such a good wife. What went wrong? It's not what they're gossiping about. She only dreamt a dream that an ordinary girl would have made. Please don't let her wake up. That's That was what I pleaded with him. Okay. So she did have a miscarriage, huh? It is said a homon homunculus possesses all the knowledge in the world when it is born. It will impart to the alchemist all the secrets of the natural world over the course of a year, but the little figure in the flask will slowly die from continued exposure to air. Okay. A faucet. Oh, now we can take a bath, huh? Alright. And you tell me I have to grow, put the uh, bury my book gold, what? Since when had the donut been in her hand? Oh no. Where's my doll? Where's my doll? Oh, everything goes missing here, I swear to God. Everything goes missing. Is the doll my baby? Is it an equivalent equivalent to my... my... my baby? Well, let's take a bath. Yo! It was a person. Elizabeth, where's my head? Elizabeth showed her foot, slowed her footsteps, and an ex inexplicable sense of foreboding told her not to get any closer. But she couldn't remember why. She asked, What are you looking at? The one in the shadows did not react and stared motionless towards the front. The person suddenly looked over. You. Elizabeth shook her head. No, I mean before you turned around. She felt a bit ill at ease as the starkly white face turned back again without even blinking. But at least she had a response, so Elizabeth got up her courage and continued to ask. Who are you? Do you live here? Do you know how to get out of here? You... The large head brim suddenly walked over. She thought they would finally interact, but the only one... The one... But the one only walked away, stiffly upright. She then saw the doll. The doll she had always been carrying. For some reason it was in the crook of the one's arm. That was... This is, my, this is mine. Glaring at Elizabeth, the sharp-eyed owner said, leaving with an eerie elf melancholy accompanied. No, it's not. It's mine. Screw you. What is that automatically flowing out of the faucet after it was connected? Endlessly. 
Yeah, so what, so what? Where's my cat again? I swear to God, everything goes missing in this damn house. Everything. Give me back my doll. Give me back my cats. Give me back my hopes and dreams.